yeah, speaking yeah. of Blue Beetle, that'll kind of bring us to the next subject. We got a new trailer yesterday for Blue Beetle. And when James Gunn was on the Michael Rosenbaum podcast a month ago, he said Blue Beetle is the first DCU character. And the director said it's DCU. But he's, all, James Gunn also said Superman Legacy is the first DCU film. A hmm. little bit confusing, but we got a new trailer for it. And I, I feel it's... Um, I'm not quite sure how exactly I feel about it. Uh, like, it feels fun. Mm-hmm. There, uh, I, I've in, enjoyed, but it feels a little bit generic. What I've kind of seen from from the first two trailers, I'm excited to see our lead from Cobra Kai getting to be in a movie. I'm down for that. I'm curious exactly what... Um, how he'll do leading a big expensive film. Griffin, I, I believe you were pretty positive on the first trailer. Yeah. Is that yeah. where you're still at? And what do you think about this second trailer? Yeah, I actually really, so I, I, I have uh, two thoughts. One, I really like the trailer Two, They show like the whole movie in this. Yes. So like, yes. That's yeah. like, that. that's like my big complaint with it, but on yeah. like solely like vibes and just like the characters and the way it looks like, yeah, I'm, I'm like really down for that. I think, uh, like Jaime Reyes is like a really interesting character, and I like that. There, like him becoming a superhero is more of a family affair, uh, and that's that's something different that I don't think we've necessarily seen. Wait, would before. you say you're pretty familiar with Blue Beetle? No, not not too much. What? I mean, like the only stuff that I know about Blue Beetle is just um, stuff from like the. What was he? He was in Young Justice, right? And then like the Injustice games. It's like I, I, I know him just, from yeah. Batman: The Brave and the Bold, which is like oh, okay. you know a, yeah. a comedic campy spin. So yeah. I I'm really not terribly familiar with him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not like a super big ex. I I mean like I've read a couple like you, you know our like pages on like his mm-hmm. history and everything and like Ted Cord being the original or I guess there was like one before him, but like Ted Cord being the predecessor and all that stuff. Um, but anyway, I like just in terms of this trailer, like I. I get what you're saying about it feeling generic. Like, yeah, it does feel like it's hitting the familiar beats of um, like a superhero origin film like this. But maybe it's just because I've been like inundated with like so much multiverse and like convoluted crap in superhero movies for so long. The simplicity of this and the focus on like Jaime and his family, Mm -hmm. that really kind of endears me to the movie. Or at least is like going to make me want to see it more than some other stuff so like i like yeah like I, i'm not expecting this to be like the greatest thing ever made i'm not expecting it to save the dc brand but i think like i think we can expect like a solid little film about a kid coming of age as a superhero with a latino family and that dynamic and like him i i don't know I, it just feels like there's a lot of room to like put forth a really like heartfelt story which i'm down for Richard, where are you at with the uh, Blue Beetle in this new trailer? I'm pretty much the same. I mean, they did give away a lot of this movie. Yeah, I mean, right to, that's watching it. That was like, uh, this is one of those trailers where I feel like you just gave me the summary of the film in exactly. order. Yeah, this is one of those trailers I might not have watched if like right. I didn't ac- actually have to like for work or anything. But, yeah. But no, I'm I'm very I'm not I wouldn't say cautiously optimistic because I'm more than that. I think it's going to be a good movie. Um, I, I'm just worried about like the DC brand of it and everything, just because of some of the some of the moves that we've got recently. Even even besides the Flash, like Shazam two, and right? I, it just stuff like that. I know that that too of like feels like just this year with the odd timing of the DCU announcement. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It feels like people are just not. Yeah, it's such a there's such a discord between mm-hmm. like like there's this weird middle ground between like the stuff that's coming out this year, tying back to the old, the Zack Snyder, the Snyder verse of it or whatever, yeah. moving forward to the gun verse, you know, that's, that's still a couple years away. Um, this would, I think it's honestly going to be a little hard to judge until, you know, we get more information on what the DC universe is going to have, how this version of blue beetle, if it's this version of blue beetle that fits into the future, mm-hmm. but as a movie in and of itself, I'm looking forward to it. Like you guys said, I really like the family vibes of it. Uh, like like Griffin was saying, I don't think we've actually really seen a story like this in a superhero movie before. And whenever you yeah. can do something different with a superhero movie, usually that means it's going to be something pretty good and at least pretty fun. So I think it's going to be something heartwarming, emotional. Um, I mean, George Lopez in a superhero movie was not on my, <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. On my <laughs> card ever. I mean, George Lopez and Susan Sarandon 
in a superhero yeah. movie, which is just still crazy to me. But I'm really looking forward to Dezolo Maraduena as the lead. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And it comes out of my anniversary, so that's kind of a nice bonus. Um, nice. And even speaking of things you haven't seen, like I think that, that family dynamic, if it can pull that off of like, it's yes. about him, but it's the family. And I'm not going to say what the last shot of this latest trailer was for those that haven't seen it. It feels like that's a, be a nice reveal for people that see the, the movie, but in the family dynamic, they, they do a thing at the end of this trailer where you go, that's a funny image. That yeah. Like they really, the family is involved in this. So that could be where, where this one pops.